this video tutorial, we will show you how you can use the plan design add-on to create plan design drawings and at the same time create the schematic diagram to calculate the installation. First, we will arrange the pages of the design, which will help us to easily navigate and isolate information of the drawing. When you start a new project with the Electrical OM software, you will see that we've already created two pages, a floor page and an electrical page. In our example, we will rename these ground floor and main distribution board. We will also insert two additional pages from the main distribution board page to show the electrical power, which we've colored in blue, and the lighting, which we've colored in green. Having arranged our pages, we will insert the architectural plan drawing of the ground floor using the import xref function. We will then navigate to the main distribution board page to place the main distribution board symbol. To do this, we drag the distribution board symbol and place it in the desired location. The snap to wall function can help you quickly and easily position the symbols onto walls. During the snap to wall function, you may need to reverse the positioning of the symbol. This can be done by simply pressing the spacebar. Before finalizing the insertion of the distribution board symbol, we will need to check the option Auto Create Circuit After Insertion. This will pop up a window with the basic details of the main distribution circuit. After setting the details and pressing OK, the main distribution circuit is created and assigned to that symbol. We will also need to place a meter symbol as the origin of the installation. Then, by using the drawing wire function, we will draw a wire between the main distribution board and the meter to measure the length of the main cable. The wire route can be observed in 3D. This enables us to ensure that the up and down paths and elevations have been correctly adjusted. These paths are related to the elevation property of the symbol. For example, if we modify the elevation property of the main distribution board from 1.4 meters to 2 meters, we will notice within the 3D environment an increased wiring path to the distribution board. At this point, we can apply the measurement to the main cable by clicking the Apply to Circuit button. Having finished with the main distribution board, we will continue by creating a socket ring circuit. To do this, we will navigate to the power page and then insert a socket symbol in the drawing. By default, the elevation is set at 40 centimeters above floor level. By inserting the socket symbols, we can start creating the wiring path simultaneously. This can be done by checking the wiring option within the symbol insertion properties. Within the wiring properties, we will select the curved option and leave the elevation at zero meaning the wiring will be coming from floor level. After inserting the last socket, the auto create circuit pop-up will be displayed. Here we can set the basic information of the circuit, including the feeder, and way. By pressing OK, the new circuit is created and can be reviewed within the schematic area. In order to finalize the socket ring circuit, we will connect the first and last socket. 
Also, we need to remove the wiring section overlapping the distribution board symbol. This will allow us to connect the sockets back to the distribution board. At this point, we can apply the measurement by clicking the Apply to Circuit button. Next, we will create a fridge circuit following the same steps as before. Finally, we will create a lighting circuit showing also the positioning of the switches. First, we navigate to the lights page and then we insert the lighting points to create the lighting circuit. In our example, the wiring of the lighting circuit will come from the ceiling, set at an elevation of 3 meters. We will insert the switches and then connect them to the lighting points using the wiring by selection function. We also connect a switch to the main distribution symbol to finalize the wiring path. Looking at the 3D model will help us visualize the wiring path and make sure it's accurate. From the circuits group tab, you can see in detail the measurements being made for each circuit in the page. This can help you identify any missing symbols or wiring sections. From here you can also exclude some wiring sections from being included in the calculations of the total length. This might be necessary in some radial circuits where the calculations need to be done based on the largest route. We hope you found this video tutorial helpful. More video tutorials can be found by visiting our website at www.electricalom.com. Thank you ever so much for watching.